Hey everyone and welcome back to my weekly vlog. It is bank holiday Monday. Got back from LA and Vegas yesterday. Uh, I went to bed at like half ten. I'm actually feeling okay. Um, I don't feel too bad. Like I feel pretty normal. Um, I need to work today though. So I'm about to film a video. But we picked the dogs up this morning. I couldn't film it or anything because I was so excited and I just wanted to go pick them up and give them some attention but they've been back for about an hour now um yeah so I'm gonna show you guys my little babies my best friends my little baby Luna back Luna he's a big girl and a big boy look how big Shadow is you are big boy aren't you oh filmed my video earlier edited it although halfway through editing I was like falling asleep at my computer so might have had a little hour nap and then I've just gone back on my computer and just finished it off. Oh, but I'm getting a bit of a headache. I didn't think I was jet lagged, but I obviously am. Um, I don't think it's as bad as I've been before. Because I did nap on the flight, basically throughout the whole thing. I was like napping on and off, which I think did actually really help. But yeah, just... We haven't even got any food in the house. But luckily, we're going to Robin's Mum's tonight for some dinner which is really nice. So yeah, it means I don't have to do some food shopping until tomorrow. I've literally got like the busiest week, just straight back into filming like, oh yeah, but I think just keeping busy, it will just help me get back into things rather than having like a few days where like I lounge about and feel like I've not done anything. And it always makes you feel a little bit more shitter. So yeah, straight back into work for me. Robin's at working tomorrow as well. He's working work for the rest of the week, so both straight back into it <sighs> right let's go have some din dins <laughs> morning guys so it's now tuesday and i did a food shop this morning went sh literally got up went straight to Aldi to food shop because i was so hungry when i woke up this morning i think because of like the time difference I don't even know what time it would be. Well, actually, it's the middle of the night, so I don't know why I was hungry this morning. But, yeah, the jet lag. Oh, jet lag life. Um, I'm feeling a bit better now I've eaten. But, like, this morning I did feel a bit, like, ill. Like, from the jet lag, I think. But I've been sleeping fine, and I, like, slept all night last night. So, that's a good sign. I think it's just going to take me a few days to actually kind of feel myself again and get back into, like, a routine. But I think it's probably good that I'm literally straight back into work. I'm about to film a hair tutorial. I've got a few more things to film today. Some stuff to edit. I've been doing some house admin bits this morning as well, like ringing people, um, little house update. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this Sunday we will be connected to the gas network, which I've been trying to do since November 2018. Yep, it's literally a joke. But finally, I think we're gonna be hooked up and we can hopefully have gas. So we'll have heating and hot water next week in the new house, which is such a good, thing so yeah fingers crossed um but yeah i'm gonna film now oh so i just finished editing that hair tutorial i filmed earlier which was this one here super cute i'm gonna go to our new house now because i just want to check what work got done whilst we were away i was expecting more work to be done um yeah <laughs> that's all i'm gonna comment on uh yeah the bathrooms are just going a lot slower than i thought i asked my work guys to be finished by the end of april but it doesn't look promising which is annoying but is what it is i guess uh but yeah i'm just gonna go there now check to see what's happened and i also need to let a boiler guy in so he can do some work basically but yeah let's go check on the house so it doesn't look like much has happened in the wet room, apart from the ceiling has been boarded up. So still a lot of work to be done in there. Then in the bathroom here, so they've boarded up this bottom bit and we're gonna have another row of window panels there. Those ones are gonna be removed and then they'll all match. So obviously this was asbestos before. So yeah, that's all been boarded up. This side I don't think has yet, so that needs to be boarded up there. And what else? Skirting board. So they've put a skirting board all the way around the edge 
that that was just some weird piping thing but we couldn't be bothered to like move all the cupboards and stuff so i'm just gonna put like a plant pot there or something but yeah the skirt and going all the way around now and there and then in the cupboard i mean it's a bit tatty on the inside so i don't know whether to rip the wallpaper off and give it a coat of paint maybe we'll just leave it it's just a cupboard at the end of the day but they've kind of boarded this bottom bit up and then they've put these two shelves in for me so i can like have loads of like plastic boxes and stuff and maybe like a little storage kind of drawers at the bottom to store lots of stuff in so yeah that's kind of what that's looking like at the moment before obviously there was like a massive water tank there and stuff but that's all our piping for our boiler which goes upstairs we've also got those two cupboard bits up there which need to be redone um but yeah so that's the cupboard so we're getting there still a lot of work to be done though which is super frustrating but I'm gonna have to just be patient and wait I guess hey guys so it is now Wednesday I'm like what day is it uh, just filmed this makeup tutorial and hair tutorial with my hair tattoos I released hair tattoos last year when I launched my festival range for Sokana Beauty and I haven't really spoken about Sokana Beauty. I didn't kind of really want to get into it and tell you guys about it but basically I've kind of put it on hold um, for now because obviously the wedding, renovating a house and I just felt like I just couldn't put everything into it and I kind of just felt like it was a bit of a waste to throw loads of money into something if I can't market it and you know when or promote it and like yeah so anyway short story but yeah so not really kind of pushing it at the moment but I did launch some hair tattoos last year and I never really got the chance to kind of use them and show you guys and I've not seen anything else come onto the market like it so I filmed a tutorial with them today to promote them it's going to be on my instagram just to showcase to you guys an idea for festival hair and they're super easy to get out you literally just wash your hair and they kind of shrink up and they just come out so you just wash your hair normally but yeah so i have used all my star themed ones and the video will be coming on my instagram very soon but if you want to check out my hair tattoos there is a link below to socannabeauty.com which is my shop um, i'm making a cup of tea now obviously uh film these tutorials i'm going to edit them as well today to get that out of the way i had a guy come around the house today well the new house because they were picking up rubbish so kind of saved them a car parking space it's been a nightmare with car parking spaces because it's a permit only road like honestly uh yeah but anyway sorted them out they they were actually super helpful and they picked up all the rubbish in our garden because we basically haven't bothered with getting a skip or anything and bless them they picked up the bits that they couldn't take with them and put them in my front garden so my back garden was all clear so really really nice that they did that so next week is kitchen extension week i cannot believe that oh my god that it's going to be started like such a big thing that we're changing for the house so obviously going to be vlogging that and probably visiting the house a lot daily so yeah as of next week you'll be able to see the process on my blog and at Sophie Hannah Home if you follow that on Instagram <sighs> that was a lot I feel like I'm talking a lot I feel like this week like I feel so so I'm sorry guys but like I'm not doing anything I'm obviously I was away I've come back home I'm trying to get over the jet lag and I need to get back into a routine of filming and working so yeah this week I'm not really doing much so sorry if it's boring um but yeah gotta get back into work so it is what it is this is but anyway this is like my daily life like this is the life of a blogger it's not that extravagant really um I work hard so just finished up editing my videos um i've also just booked a well booked to have a design appointment with howden's kitchens they are local to us um it's kind of basically like a kitchen place but only it's like wholesale so they only ever work with people that are in the trade so like builders but you can go in and design a kitchen and then they help you find a builder or a tradesperson 
um, to kind of build your kitchen for you. So we've booked, well, we're hopefully booking an appointment with them. I've just inquired. Um, I, I was looking at DIY kitchens for our kitchen, but I feel like I want to actually sit down properly with someone and design it and go through like all of the options because there's probably like special cupboards and functions and things that we probably don't even know about and like I want the kitchen to be perfect. I want to have space for everything. I want all the latest gadgets and things like that because yeah I want it to be like a proper up to date kitchen and like we're spending the money on it so we may as well you know do it properly. Um, but yeah, so I booked that appointment today and hopefully they'll get back to me with a time and a day. Hopefully we, me and Robin can go next week. Robin's at work all week, so I'm on my own with the doggies. But it's been so nice because I miss them so much when I was away. So I've been cuddling them. Like I work at my desk and then when I like want a five minute break, I like run into the living room because they just like sleeping on the sofa in the day. And then I cuddle them and I kiss them and we have snuggles and then I come back, I work a bit more and then I go to them again. Um, Shadow's not actually been sitting on my lap lately. Well, since I've been back, which is weird. Um, although he's sitting right next to me now, aren't you big boy? Eh? Uh, Robin is on his way back home. And yeah, we're just gonna have some dinner and chill tonight, I think. We need to catch up on so much TV. We've missed the bay, we've missed the widow. I just uh, finished Sabrina, season two, so good. Some of you guys say I look like her. I don't see it at all. It's a compliment though, so I'll take it. Um, but yeah, how funny. Uh, and I've also, well, nearly finished the latest episode of Riverdale, which actually I might finish off before Robin gets back from work. So here's a little sneaky peek of my hair tattoo video. Oh, there it is. There's the tattoos. It looks so good. So that is going to be up on my Instagram next week. Well, this week actually, because this vlog has gone live next week. I always say next week and I talk like, well, because when I'm vlogging, it is next week. But when the vlog gets uploaded, it's actually that week. So keep an eye out because that might be up very, very soon. At Sophie Hannah on Instagram. This is what we've got for dinner tonight. Fish cake, salad and rice. Quite healthy for us. Morning guys, so it's now Thursday and I just got nine parcels delivered. <laughs> They're all what I missed whilst I was away. So I'm going to do a little unboxing snippet here in my vlog and show you a few of the pieces that I got sent. So first up we've got some amazing lip glosses from NARS. Oh, definitely just dropped one. How amazing is that gold one? Oh my god, it is so shimmery. It's amazing. Also came in this really cute makeup bag as well, which I think is really sweet. Also from NARS, loving the packaging by the way, is this amazing eyeshadow palette called Ignited. Look at those shades. They're so pretty. Got a box full of stuff from e.l.f. which is amazing. What have we got in here? Matte blotting papers, sheer matte liquid lipsticks and brushes, blotting mist. Oh, that highlighter looks amazing. So does that blush. Lots and lots of goodies in here. This palette looks nice. Then from Laura Mercier, we've got the Caviar Chrome Collection. What have we got here? We've got some shadow sticks, some eye colours, some shimmers. Oh my lord, that looks amazing. So does this one. Wow, how amazing are these liquid eye colours. Oh, so sparkly. Also, that noise you can hear is Big Boy chewing on his donut and trying to eat it. Yes, this is a massive box full of lashes. I love these lashes from Bold Face Makeup. So they've kindly sent me lots of different pairs. So those ones are some of my faves from the Muse range. Love, love, love the big fluffy ones. What else have we got? Same how many different designs they sent me but they've sent me quite a few so let's get this end 
think there might be two different designs in here. Or maybe three. Yeah, honestly, these lashes are so nice. So excited about this delivery. So, Benefit, I have collabed with Key Australia on a sunglass range. The cases are so cute. Love these. Oh my god, so nice. These ones are very cool as well. So oversized. And the same again, but in this like really nice kind of like pinky peach colour. Then we've got a box of goodies from Illamasqua. So it is their new nude collection called Nude Revolution. I love Illamasqua highlighters. And oh my god, how amazing does this one look? And this one. Oh, so nice. This is their unveiled palette. How amazing is this? Loving all of these shades. So nice. Some of these I'd wear every day as well. I like that white too, that's really handy. So those were just some of the bits and pieces I got sent whilst I was away. Some really, really good goodies there. So thank you so much to all the brands that sent me them. I'm gonna pop them away now and sort out the recycling because there's a lot. Guys, I filmed a swimwear beachy video today for you guys on my Instagram. I think it's already up, so do check it out at Soppy Hannah. Sneaky peek. I also got around to filming my bubble braid tutorial because you guys asked me how I created this at Coachella. So that is coming soon to my Instagram. And I also filmed a... There is a child screaming in the road outside. When the sun comes out, everyone comes out of their houses and just goes into the street on my road and it is the most annoying thing. My dogs hate it. And honestly, I cannot wait to move around the corner. Oh, anyway, I also filmed another styling video today. Back on it again with those. I filmed a zebra print like styling video. So I had a zebra print bodysuit, dress, and like blazer dress that I styled up. Just because I'm loving zebra print, I've got lots of zebra print clothes, so I thought I would film something for you guys on my Instagram. So yes, that's coming soon as well. I think that's gonna be up on Friday maybe, as like weekend inspo kind of. Um, but yeah, I need to get changed now because I'm going to the doctor's. I'm all right. Um, I've just got a bit of pigmentation on my back, so I just wanna get it checked out um because it's been there for like three weeks and it's getting worse not good i don't think there's anything bad i just think i need some cream or something but yeah i'm gonna go to the doctors and hopefully everything's okay we are making fajitas for dinner tonight i have made my own guacamole which i'm super excited about also we went to asda because I had to get the rest of the ingredients for guacamole and we might have got Easter eggs for £1.50. It was a bargain, there, so guys. we couldn't say no. We couldn't get walk past the aisle. Um, yeah, £1.50 for Cadbury's Easter eggs. And we missed Easter because we didn't get back from LA until Sunday. So we didn't actually get any eggs. So we thought we would treat ourselves to an Easter egg. Sizzling away. Fajita time is nearly ready. Hey guys, so it's now Friday and I'm about to head to Braintree, which is a local town to me. And I'm going to meet Nick's Cosmetics at the local Superdrug because I don't know whether you guys know, but Nick's has launched in Superdrug and they're basically traveling all over the UK cutting ribbons on the stores and their stands inside Superdrug and they've asked me to go along because I was part of the launch for them launching on Superdrug and they've asked me to go along and create some content with them um, cutting the ribbon and stuff for the store so super exciting so I'm going to go ahead there in a sec and then I think I am going for lunch with them afterwards as a little tree which is super exciting because I cannot wait to see the girls again obviously because I went to Coachella with them a few weeks ago so let's head to Superdrug oh so I got home a few hours ago after seeing Nick and yeah it was absolutely fine just went into one of their stores they've got such amazing stands in Superdrug and like 
I can't believe how many products that they've actually got now. Like, it's crazy. Some amazing, amazing pieces. And don't forget, if you guys missed my Coachella vlogs and my videos of my makeup looks, then I have to tell you that NYX launched a new collection called Glitter Goals. And, yeah, there's lots of sparkly new products in that range. So do check that out. They've got, like, palettes, glitter liners, glitter lipsticks and stuff. Really, really cool. Or check out my Coachella vlog and you'll see me using some of the pieces. Um, home now. I've just edited my last two Get Ready With Me Coachella videos. And they're scheduled in. One's already gone live. One is going live this Sunday. And I also just wanted to show you this website called Canva.com. Um, I completely forgot about it. But when I was away, I took Robin's laptop and didn't have Photoshop on it. So I was a bit like, oh my god, how am I meant to edit my YouTube thumbnails? But I remembered this website that I used years ago when I used to be a social media manager. And it's really, really handy. So it is free and you can basically create designs for lots of different things. So like social media designs, if you want like a square format, presentation, a Facebook cover, Facebook post. Obviously here, YouTube channel art So and YouTube thumbnail. So if you click on the thumbnail, it comes up with like different layouts that you can use and then at the bottom here you can see some that i have created and it's just really handy it's like super easy to just drag and drop like your images in and change like the font and the layout and stuff so yeah i thought i would continue using it for my thumbnails for my youtube videos because why not um just waiting for robin to come home and then, yeah, I need to sort dinner out because I didn't pick any up earlier and we've not got any food in the house because, you know, we just don't. I went for a food shop on Monday, but I didn't bother. No, Tuesday. But I didn't bother getting dinner for tonight because I wasn't sure what we were going to be up to. But, yeah, need to get some. Hey, guys, so it's now Saturday and i've kind of turned the heating off in our house because we've spent so much money the last couple of months so i'm absolutely freezing so i think i'm gonna make a hot water bottle um we're not really doing anything today robin's not feeling too good so he's just chilling um but i thought i would hop on my computer because our kitchen extension's being started on monday and yeah basically we're just trying to think of where we're going to get our kitchen from and it's either going to be diy kitchens or Someone just messaged me saying that they saw a kind of dark grey black kitchen with green tiles in Ikea and it literally looks exactly kind of like what we want. So I'm having a little go at the Ikea kitchen planner. Um, it's actually really straightforward to use and you can put in all your measurements and everything. So I've put in the measurements of the room which um, matches my extension drawings for which we got when we were doing planning permission and stuff so i've matched it all up and i'm kind of just laying it out i know the kind of style that i want and the layout so yeah i'm just kind of well i'm hoping that it will price it up on this ikea planet as well so just so i can see a difference in the price with diy kitchens and ikea i'd rather diy kitchens because the one that i want from them is timber and ikea i know is like mdf or this other board stuff i can't remember what it's called something bored because of the p so i don't think it's obviously the best quality but it's affordable and they actually look great so i'm just having a little go at the moment with designing and i'll show you once i've done it so i've got the gist of the kitchen layout so these are the bifolding doors and it will go onto the garden here and now once you've got the layout you can basically click on each individual item and then you can change like the front of the cabinets and this is the one that we like and then we can change the handles and we can pick i mean i like those so i'm just going to pick those and yeah change the handle position you can change cornice what's a cornice what does that do oh maybe that adds it like on top Oh, I'm going to add that. That looks quite cool. A deco strip. Let's add that as well. Oh, warning. The cabinets should be at least 5'10". Okay, maybe I can't add that, so we'll take that off. Interesting.
Oh, taking a break from kitchen design. I'm heading to my friends for some dinner. I think we might get a cheeky takeaway. Hey guys, it's Sunday and I've not vlogged yet. I'm really sorry. Um, had a bit of a nightmare this morning. Uh, basically, I've got to talk quick because I'm getting picked up in a sec. But basically, you guys might know, obviously, I... What am I even saying? I've got my new house and you might have seen in my weekly vlogs that we've been waiting to get gas installed and getting hooked up to the mains gas line in the road. We have been waiting since February. Well, waiting since November, that's when I applied for the work. February, two engineers came out and they started doing the work, but they couldn't finish it off because the council basically didn't put the correct road signs out to block the road off and stuff. And basically they can't work it's illegal for them to do any work when there's not the they don't have the authority to do to do it basically and there's no signs and stuff anyway they were rebooked in for this morning to come and finish off the work so i've waited since february so 10 weeks i've waited and they turned up this morning and there's no road signs again so legally they're not allowed to carry out the work and i was like why are they wasting everybody's time and my time i've not had any heating any hot water in my new house and obviously like i want to move in there and i can't so it's super frustrating and i paid for this to be done last year in november and i'm still waiting and now i've had to send a really shit email to the company and basically i don't know when they when i'm going to get gas so obviously it's a Sunday so they're not open so I'm gonna have to call around tomorrow and it's just honestly been a nightmare and yep I've had one of those days and I've just been kind of redesigning our kitchen as well which I'll show you when I get back later I'm going around Robin's dad's for a Chinese now which is good but I feel like this weekend I've just been sat at my desk redesigning the kitchen and like I should have just chilled like I should have just watched telly and relaxed and I feel like I haven't relaxed this weekend which it's not good because then I'm back at work next week. Although, hmm, tomorrow I'm getting a tattoo. Exciting. So make sure you tune into next week's vlog. But yeah, I'll show you the kitchen when I get back. How cute is this present from Robin's sister? It matches our poster that we've got in our house. What is wrong with this camera? It's just gone blurry. Anyway, there we go. There's one. Here's number two. Really cute. And this one is my fave. How pretty is this? I love it. All the way from Mexico. So this is our new kitchen design. We've moved things around a little bit. Um, but I think it's definitely... Be yeah, yeah. It's definitely looking a lot better with this sort of layout. I'll show you what it looked like before. This is what it looked like before, but I felt like it was very top heavy and there wasn't really much room here where the bifolding doors will be for a table. Whereas this layout will give us room here to have a table and then there's a nice bit of, big gap here by the bifolding doors so like it doesn't feel too like like you're closed in because otherwise the table would have been here right by the doors whereas now there's like a nice little bit of space so yeah I feel like, I feel like this is probably the best design I've done at the moment and I think we probably will go for this one. God, my hair looks really neon in this light. Yeah. Moshed it loads. Um, my hair is actually fading a lot. Like, it's a bit of a weird colour at the moment. It's gone very green. It's really, really strange. It's like so, this side's a bit better. Look, it's kind of like blonde, like here. This bit I reckon will be cut off and then it's just that orange bit to go. I just want to kind of get it back to blonde so I can get it like it really clean. It is going more it blonde is, though. It is. See, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, but what colour do you want to get it to? I want to get it to a clean, clean blonde so I can just start over again and I'm and not going to go back blue for a... Are you? No. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to do blues. I'm going to try and do more like pastel -y. not pastel colours, but like not... I'm not going to do too pigmented colours so my hair doesn't stain. Yeah. Seems like a good idea. But yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this week's vlog. Really sorry that it wasn't that interesting. Uh, been stuck at home all week, obviously just getting back into work and back into the swing of things. But the kitchen extension starts tomorrow, so hopefully now we'll have more kind of updates with the house and everything, which is probably going to be a bit more interesting. Um, and tattoo tomorrow, so super exciting. So make sure you tune into next week's vlog. Thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you in another one very very soon. Ah, oh, peace out.